In 2010, while visiting the beach with his daughters, Bisterica, an artist from the Basque country, Spain, experienced a revelation. This ordinary day by the sea transformed into an extraordinary moment of discovery as he realized the vast potential of sand as an artistic medium. What started as a simple observation has since evolved into a remarkable journey of artistic innovation and mastery. Basterica's dedication to perfecting his craft has led to the creation of incredibly lifelike sand sculptures that captivate and inspire. Basterica's fascination with sand art is deeply rooted in his belief that sand can offer endless lessons if one is open to learning. In a heartfelt he shared his passion, sand fascinates me because no matter where you look, it will always teach you if you are willing to learn. The reason why I like to make animal sculptures, one among many, is because animals are free spirits, even if we the unconscious have them locked up. They are unique, beautiful and carriers of great wisdom, so that humans can reflect and learn from them. To create his stunning sand sculptures, Basterica follows a meticulous process that begins with selecting the perfect location on the beach. He looks for a flat area that is slightly elevated to avoid the encroaching waves. Once he has chosen the spot, he gathers enough buckets of sand to match the scale of his envisioned creation. Adding water to the sand is a crucial step as it helps to bind the grains and allows him to shape the material more effectively. The sculpting process starts with forming the basic shape of the sculpture. Basterica meticulously molds and carves the main structure before adding finer details. He invests significant time and effort into creating realistic textures, whether it's the fur of a lion, the scales of a dragon, or the intricate features of an owl. For the most delicate details, such as the eyes of his sculptures, Basterica uses tools like feathers and sticks. These tools help him achieve the precision needed to bring his sand creations to life. Coloring his sculptures is another key aspect of Basterica's process. He uses natural colorings, including ashes, coal powder, clay powder, stone powder, and even recycled glass, to add vibrancy and depth to his sand art. This step not only enhances the visual impact of his sculptures, but also adds to their realism. The result is a series of sand creations that can be so lifelike that they seem almost animated. Basterica's work encompasses a wide range of subjects. Over the years, he has sculpted everything from majestic elephants and fierce crocodiles to enchanting mermaids and intricate human figures. Despite this diversity, animals remain his favorite subject. His ongoing study of animal anatomy allows him to infuse his sculptures with a level of detail and authenticity that sets his work apart. Each sculpture is a testament to his dedication to capturing the essence of his subjects. Creating these sand masterpieces is no small feat. Basterica has shared that the time required for each sculpture varies based on its size and complexity. For example, his elaborate elephant sculpture took two full days to complete, while a horse or bison required around 12 hours each. Smaller pieces, like his dog sculptures, took between six and eight hours. The time and effort invested in each piece reflect Basterica's commitment to his art and his desire to achieve the highest level of realism. Once a sculpture is completed, Basterica takes photographs to document his work. He often includes onlookers in these photos, capturing the reactions of those who encounter his sand art. The positive response from the public helps Basterica gain recognition and encourages him to continue pushing the boundaries of what can be achieved with sand. Basterica's journey from a beachside revelation to becoming a renowned sand artist is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. His work not only showcases his technical skill, but also serves as an inspiration to others. By transforming sand into stunning, lifelike sculptures, Basterica challenges us to see the world through a different lens and appreciate the hidden potential in everyday materials. In summary, Basterica's artistic journey began with a simple visit to the beach and has since evolved into a remarkable exploration of sand art. His meticulous process, from selecting the right location to adding intricate details and natural colors, results in sand sculptures that are both captivating and lifelike. As he continues to create and share his work, 
Asterica's art serves as a reminder of the beauty and possibilities that can be found in even the most unassuming materials. Over the last decade, Asterica has transformed the sands of the beach into a diverse array of sculptures, ranging from dogs and crocodiles to bison, mermaids, and even human figures. Despite this impressive variety, his passion for creating animal sculptures stands out. Animals with their grace and complexity remain his favorite subjects. Asterica's ongoing exploration of sculpting techniques and his deepening understanding of animal anatomy have been instrumental in bringing these sand and mud creations to life. Creating such detailed and realistic sculptures is no small feat. Asterica dedicates a considerable amount of time and effort to each piece, with the duration of the process varying based on the sculpture's size and intricacy. In an interview, Asterica revealed, the time it takes to create one piece largely depends on its size. For instance, sculpting an elephant can take me up to two full days. On the other hand, making a horse or a bison requires around 12 hours each. The smaller sculptures, like dogs, typically take about six to eight hours. The process of sculpting begins with selecting an appropriate spot on the beach. Asterica looks for a flat area, ideally situated a bit away from the waves to avoid any disturbances. Once he has chosen the location, he brings along buckets of sand, the amount depending on the scale of the sculpture he plans to create. Adding water to the sand is a crucial step as it helps bind the grains and makes the material easier to work with. He then starts by shaping the main form of the sculpture before refining details like textures and expressions. The creation of fine details, such as the eyes of an animal or the intricate textures of fur or skin, requires precision. For these delicate elements, Vesterica employs tools like feathers and sticks, which help him achieve the necessary level of detail. Coloring the sculptures adds another layer of realism. Vesterica uses natural colorants such as ashes, coal powder, clay powder, stone powder, and even recycled glass. These materials enhance the visual appeal of the sand art and make the sculptures even more lifelike. Once a sculpture is completed, Vesterica takes photographs of his work, often including onlookers in the shots. The positive feedback from online audiences helps Vesterica gain recognition and encourages him to continue pushing the boundaries of sand art. Vesterica's dedication to his craft is evident in the intricate and lifelike nature of his sculptures. His ability to transform sand into detailed and realistic forms showcases not only his artistic skill, but also his deep understanding of his subjects. Each sculpture is a testament to his commitment to his art and his passion for capturing the essence of animals. As Vesterica continues to explore new techniques and refine his skills, his work remains a source of inspiration and wonder. The combination of his technical prowess and his love for animals ensures that his sand sculptures will continue to captivate audiences for years to come.